So Nayla is 346 days in full. So she's six days past the 340 day due date. So she was due last Saturday. Um, we think that she might be in stage one labor. She's been acting really different since about 2.30 a.m. Lots of pacing and pawing and laying down in weird spots of her stall, moving around a whole bunch, just, uh, just not being herself. So we think that she's hopefully in stage one, which will be good so that she could get on with it. Right, girly? She's, she's done with being pregnant. I'm gonna take a quick peek at Nayla's udder here. So she's got some wax, so that's what we're kind of looking for when we're starting to look for wax in our horses. Is that little bit that's on her teat there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There you go. So that's wax, so that's just a plug that protects the claustrum from leaking out. So that's usually a good sign that they're getting closer to falling. Um, usually it'll turn white just before falling, but it doesn't always do that with maiden mares. But that's a good sign of progress for her because she really didn't have anything going on this morning. But she's now now waxing up and now it's more more watching and waiting. Right, Nayla? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. So Holly is due tomorrow. She's been coming into the polling stalls at night for about a week now. Um, she's doing really good with her pregnancy. She's gained a little bit of weight this week and her belly went up two inches. So now we're just kind of waiting for her to get the show on the road, but she's been doing really good. She looks good. Um, she's been enjoying the outside time in the sun and getting some good rolls in in the mud. Gonna take a quick peek at her udder here. So you can see she's getting quite a bit more bagged up. Again, hard to see around the hair. We're just waiting for signs of wax to form. Normally she'll wax just a tiny little bit the day before she falls. So we're just kind of waiting on that until we get rolling with this baby. The baby's actually kicking a little bit here right now. It always stops when we start videoing. I know, what's that baby doing to you? So, Key doesn't technically get a bump date anymore because she had her baby 16 days early. Um, but we just kind of wanted to update how she's doing. Her and her filly are doing amazing. Her bump went down 11 inches after having her filly. Um, her full weighed around 96 pounds at birth. And uh, I'll just show you the little cutie here. There she is! There's the new little baby! And Key had a good roll, as you can see. So, Mom and Baby have been doing great. She's getting some nice turnout time. This is her first time seeing the gimbal. Hi, little one. Good girl. You're so cute. So, yeah. So Key's bump dates are kind of done, so she'll we'll start doing some full updates here on her, her wee little one. Right? You sound cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Look at you. You sound cute. Let's see if I can zoom out here. There we go. Wide angle, because you want to be all up in here. Yeah. Good job, Key. I'll just do an update on Key's udder, so you can see what it looks like with a baby nursing. So here's the kid having a snack, very roughly, very rudely. But that's kind of how their udder gets once they've been nursing. The kids keep it down. If you ever notice your mare leaking milk, it's probably because the foal's not drinking enough, so that's a concern. So we always check their ma the mammary just to make sure that they're not uh, not leaking and that there's no sign of mastitis or any sores. Um, sometimes the babies will bite the udders, which is not ideal and uh, it can cause some sores there. So, but everything looks good on Key, even her and her filthy self. So Holly B is 326 days in full. She's due in 16 days. She's shaping up like she might go early. So we're probably gonna start moving her into the foaling stalls this week so she can get used to that. Um, she's doing really good as far as weight goes. Um, 
She did seem, the measurement said she lost a little bit this week, but I think she maybe just redistributed it a bit because she's looking pretty good weight-wise. And um, her baby bump went up half an inch, but we're quite happy with where she's at. Just gonna take a quick peek at Holly B's udder here. She's got quite a bit of a bag built up, so she's pretty much ready to rock and roll. So what we're just looking for now is the teats to fill out. Um, she might get a bit of wax or dripping on her legs. Um, so we check her legs daily just to see if there's anything that might indicate that she's maybe leaking a little bit of milk, especially when laying down. So we'll just continue to monitor that and uh, she'll be gearing up to have her baby in no time. All right, so Daisy is 315 days in full. She's due in 27 days. Her safe day is March 21st. Uh, for weight this week, she's gained, which is good. We've increased uh, her alfalfa a little bit and she's getting some oil now. And her baby bump went up one and a half inches. So we're quite happy with where she's at in her stage of her pregnancy. And uh, we just continue to monitor. All right, just gonna take a quick look at Daisy's udder here. So you can see she's starting to build a bit of an udder. So we've been monitoring that and just kind of keeping an eye on it as she gets closer. So we're pretty excited that she'll have a good stocked milk bar when the time the baby gets here. So Prairie is 308 days in full. She's due in 34 days. Her safe day is March 28th. Um, her weight stayed the same this week and her belly stayed the same. Uh, we still like a little bit more weight on her, so we have increased her alfalfa. Uh, we might increase her maternity here a little bit more as well and uh, maybe look at putting her on some oil. She's being an older mare, she tends to be a little harder to keep weight on anyways. So we just wanna give her everything that we can to ensure she uh, has enough weight to sustain everything that she needs for her body and what her baby needs. Gonna take a quick peek at Prairie, Prairie's udder here. So it's starting to get more noticeable now. She's starting to bag out, so it's more than just the typical, you know, I've had lots of babies kind of udder. She's starting to get filled. So that's good, she'll have some food to feed the baby. So we moved Rue over into the same paddock with Emmy and Trashy now. Rue is 293 days in full. She's due in 49 days. Her safe day is April 12th. She maintained her weight this week and her baby bump went up half an inch. But she's doing great, still in lessons and doing fantastic. Just take a quick peek at Rue's at her here. Again, not a whole lot of development, which we don't really expect again at this point. So, so far so good. We'll just continue to monitor and wait. Pippi is 293 days in full. She's due in 49 days. Her safe date is April 12th. Uh, she gained a little bit of weight this week, which is good. That's what we were kind of hoping for. And uh, her belly went down an inch, but again, it's probably just redistribution of the weight as she uh, gets further along in her development. Just gonna take a quick peek at her udder here. So she's... Starting to get some more development there, which is good. That's kind of what we expect at this stage. I can get it to focus on her udder and not her hair. Um, but yeah, so she's slowly starting to bag up her udder, which is, like I said, always good, especially with the maiden mares, because you want to make sure that they're going to have lots of milk for the baby when they hit the ground. Good girl. So we've played musical horses again, and uh, we've moved some horses around in different paddocks, but Emmy's here. She's 277 days in full. She's due in 65 days and her safe day is April 28th. Her weight maintained this week and her baby bump went up half an inch. Otherwise she's doing good, still in lessons, progressing well, and we're happy with her progress. I'm gonna take a quick peek at Emmy's udder here. So she's starting to get some mammary development. Oh, we're zoomed way in. There we go. Starting to get some mammary development and uh, we're just gonna keep an eye on that, but so far so good. Trashy is 276 days in full. She's 66 days until she's due. Her safe day is April 29th. 
She went up a little bit this week with weight and her baby bump stayed the same. She's a very sleepy mama, but she's doing well. We're quite happy with her. Take a quick peek at Trashy's udder. So again, maybe slight memory development, probably not a whole lot. Just again, still from retaining from previous foals, which is fine for where she's at. Good girl. So we're just going to do a quick summary on our bump date for March 16th, 2024. So again, our important dates, uh, we have four mares that are in the safe zone. Now technically it's keys fold, so she doesn't quite count anymore. Um, but we're coming up to being real busy here with all of our mares kind of getting into that safe zone, which means that they could potentially foal at any point and the foals be viable and not premature. For our weights this week, um, we had quite a few that maintained, a few that gained. Um, Key obviously lost, um, so she lost 50 pounds, but she foaled. Um, her filly actually weighed 96 pounds, so she would have lost more than that if we actually weighed her on a proper scale. But just her edema, you know, that fluid retention has gone down and she's lost some of that baby weight, which is good. Um, this is what we expect after a mare foals. Um, Holly B lost a little bit, but we think it's just kind of redistribution of the weight um, as her baby shifts because she doesn't really seem to have lost body condition at all. And for our bump measurements, um, we had, you know, a couple that maintained, a few that went up. Um, probably the most noticeable one would be key. So she went down 11 inches, um, but she fold. So that's kind of neat to see how, how big her baby bump was um, due to the foals presence. And uh, we've got a couple other there that, you know, have gained anywhere from half to two inches and uh, Pippi just went down uh, one inch and there was just a little again redistribution of her weight I would say. So again thanks for watching if you have any specific questions about uh, monitoring our mares please let us know and we will happily answer them.